a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stone and votive offering, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See, that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of words and interruption, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not insurrection be the end. Then he said to him, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plague from place to place. An awesome sight and mighty sign will come from the sky. Before all this happens, however, they will see and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogue and to prison, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For myself shall give you wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but, my, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today is 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. 33rd, number is good. <laughs> Jesus lived for 33 years. Especially in Korean poker table, <laughs> same number is best. <laughs> <laughs> in today's gospel, Jesus is talking about the end times, the destruction of Jerusalem, and the second coming of Jesus. Among the frightening things, said by some Christian leaders in the United States following the bombing of the World Trade Center world, God turned away from America because we have turned away from God. And God sent these acts as a wake-up call for us to live righteous lives to return to Him. One went so far as to confidently assert, since 9-11, we are living in end times. We might have the same reaction to today's gospel, but we read it 
we will find some good news and encouraging message. In it, Jesus tells us not to follow the doomsday prophet. He said, before all this happens, you will be seized and persecuted. You will be handed over to the synagogue and to imprisonment and brought before kings and governors for the sake of my name and that will be your opportunity to bear witness. But Jesus said, He will be with us to give us an eloquence and wisdom to none of our opponents will be able to resist or contradict. Jesus said, before all this happening, we'll have opportunity to evangelize. We are in an age of evangelization. We are not necessary to go out there or to less developed countries or Asia or Africa to evangelize. We are challenged to re evangelize the United States where we live. Then, how can we evangelize? First, we evangelize by the word of God. But our dissemination of the word of God doesn't appeal to our neighbors unless it is supported by our life. So we need to live truly Christian lives, lives to set an example for unbelievers. As Jesus himself was the model of mission, you and I are invited to be good missionaries. Today gospel is not interested in a timetable for disaster. It is about encouraging us to drop the anchor of hope overboard when the times get tough. It gives us signal that we can change the world for the better by how we can change ourselves. Let us meditate for a moment.